quackery's the promotion of fraudulent or ignorant medical practices. One form of quackery that is still undefined if it's truly effective or not is fog killing. Some are well known to be efficient healers, but some are proven to be fraud. In Santa Fe das Marina City, Cavite, many line up for a female fog killer for her unconventional ways of healing. Ate naniniwala po ba kayo sa albularyo? Oo, naniniwala ako. Hindi. Natural ko, naniniwala ka sa albularyo eh. Magagamot yun eh. Opo. Medyo. Nang may kilala ka dito ang ano, magagamot? She is Manang Enna. She sells cleaning cloth and do quackery for a living. According to her, she inherited this kind of activity from her grandparents. She also provides similar services like Hilot using different kind of ointments. When these things can cure the patient's illness, she performs pagdatawas and gave them her own made medicines. Stop! As a student, we can be easily be fooled by this. Just remember, as what I've said, a quack is a fraudulent or ignorant pretender to medical skill. It means they have no scientific basis and they give information that we can just rely on. Forget about the secret cures. True scientists share their knowledge as part of the process of scientific development. Quacks may keep their methods as a secret to prevent others from demonstrating that they don't work. Be wary of herbal remedies. As medical science developed, it became apparent that most herbs did not deserve good reputations, and most that did were replaced by synthetic compounds that are more effective. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. If you feel that your doctor isn't doing enough to help you, or if you have been told that your condition is incurable and don't wish to accept this fate without a struggle, don't stray from scientific healthcare in a desperate attempt to find a solution. Instead, discuss your feelings with your doctor and consider consolation with a recognized expert. What are the tips that you can give to those students or other teenagers who are victimized or who will be victimized by the quacks? Uh, actually, it is not my profession and it is not my, uh, my obligation to tell anybody but uh, maybe some family members or friends uh, would uh, seek advice, uh, especially because these, uh, these uh, albularios or quack doctors, uh, most of the time people who, who approach them uh, or this uh, situation or scenarios only exist in uh, barrios, especially in remote areas, uh, in remote provinces, but in... Uh, in, a, in an urbanized uh, area, just like cities, uh, there is uh, there is a very minimal uh, practices. So the only thing that I can ad uh, advise to them is that uh, much better to to seek uh, consultation with uh, health professionals. Because